<laughs> Hi friends, it's Erin Elise. Welcome back to another video. This week we are doing some fun crafty things for the van. I'm going to show you how I make my window covers and also how I make my cushions and customize my bedding. window covers <laughs> so these are my window covers i so far have made the two back windows and the two side windows i still have to make the front ones but just those four fit up into this really nice little burrito and i'm going to show you them now so here is one of my side panels it has black fabric on one side and then it has the insulated reflectix on the other and then i just made a nice little piping around it and if you want to know how to make them, just keep watching. The first thing that I had to do to get started on these window covers is create a template for my windows. I did this by deconstructing a paper bag and then taping it together. And then I taped it up to my window and then just used a marker to get the general shape of the window. This is definitely not an exact science. And when I was looking at other people make their window covers, you can use aluminum foil to get like the perfect shape and you can push it into the corners and that would be exact. But I just wanted to use paper and I didn't want to waste all the tin foil. Then I took the paper bags inside and my cat helped me cut out the templates. Now I'm opening up the Reflectix and this is a type of insulation that's super thin and really easy to use. This roll cost me about $10 and I needed only one roll for my back windows and my side panels. So if you want to do your entire van, you're probably going to need two. Of course, measure out your own windows and it might be different for you. Next, you're going to need black fabric for one side of the panel. I recommend going with something that is pretty thick so that you can't see the shiny part through it. Mine is really thin because I was trying to get those deals, so you can still kind of see the shiny through my fabric. Luckily, I have tinted windows already, so you can't see it when it's actually in my van, though. You know you want? Okay. Then I quickly pinned it in place so it won't move while I'm sewing it, and then I'm sewing vertical lines that are going parallel to the direction that it is being rolled up. So it's still easy to roll up, and that's because I'm sewing the lines in that direction. It's a little bit difficult to push this material through the sewing machine. It's also pretty thick, so it's definitely not fabric, but it will work. Here is what it looks like after I sewed these little panels on. I got neater at this as I went, so practice makes perfect. Now I'm going to make kind of a cleaner edge for the panels and there's two different ways you can do this. If you want, you can buy some like cord or some ribbon to put on the ends. I have kind of like a seatbelt material thing going on or you can just use leftover scrap pieces of fabric and I'll show you both ways because I actually ran out of this cording stuff and it's kind of expensive, so if I had to do it again, I would probably just skip it and use the scrap fabric, but I do think it has more of a professional look with the cord. So you wanna have just enough on the front that you can fold it over onto the back to cover up that nasty edge. And I just put a little dab of hot glue to hold it in place so that while I was sewing it, it wouldn't move all around. It kind of gunked up my needle on my machine though, so maybe just pin it in place instead. Or you can skip the machine altogether and just hot glue it on, but I find that the hot glue doesn't stick super well to the Reflectix side. So here I am with the machine just getting as close as possible to the edge, folding it over. Here's what it looks like. Again, I think it has like a very professional look to it. And here's the other side on the Reflectix. Now if you don't have the cording, you can just cut up extra fabric into really long strips that are about 4 inches wide and you can sew those right side to right side and then flip it over and then sew on the reflecting side. If that doesn't make sense, I don't know, watch a video on it. It's You're just making like a piping basically for the outside rim. Here's what it looks like. Again, I think I like the cording better, but if it's going to save me a couple bucks, 
I don't like it that much better. So this is fine for me and I'll probably do the rest of my windows like this. Now I chose to attach my window covers with Velcro. If you do them really, really exact and the size is perfect, they might just stay themselves, but mine are definitely not perfect. And so Velcro is just gonna give it a little bit more security. You could also try magnets or maybe suction cups. I just find that the Velcro is really easy and I already had some. I only had white though, and I didn't wanna put white on the panels. So I used a Sharpie to make one side of it black. I cut them up into smaller pieces and then I used my sewing machine to put a little X on each one to keep it super secure. Tell them to look up here. Look at the viewers. Tell them to subscribe. Now I'm going to show you how I attach them to the windows. So the first time you do this, you're going to have to get the Velcro onto the window. So I take a piece of Velcro and stick it onto the Velcro that is attached to the panel. And then I will peel that off and then just stick it to the window so it's in the exact place that I need it to be. kind of looks like a spaceship on the inside but that's okay and then on the outside it is completely black you can see the velcro but that doesn't really bother me it's literally completely black Because I just couldn't get enough of my sewing machine, I decided that I wanted to customize my bedding too. I started with a queen size quilt that I really, really like, and it was way too big for the van. At first I thought like, oh, it'll just be, you know, extra cozy and I can just fold it up when I'm not using it. Nope, way too much material in such a small place. So I cut it into the size of pretty short twin and then I went and hemmed all around that with the sewing machine so it wouldn't fray. Using the remaining fabric, I wanted to make covers for the two cushions that I also have in there. I used every last scrap, so I'm really glad that I cut it the way that I did. But other than that, it's just a basic pillowcase. So you're just sewing the sides and then leaving one open. Gonna put it inside out. Well, right side in. Okay, looks like right here, this part didn't get, this part didn't get all the way in. That's okay, I can fix it. Besides that though, it's pretty good. Here it is done. You could totally add a zipper to the end if you wanted to. I just don't want to spend any more money on this project, so I'm not going to, but you totally could. Here I am putting the bedding into the van. Of course, I am adding the cushions as well, and I just love it so much. It's perfect. <laughs> Butt shot. <laughs> There's some wearing cat socks. <laughs> All right, so that is how I make my window covers and how I make my cushions. And this is kind of the part two to how I've been customizing and renovating my van. If you haven't seen the previous video, go ahead and check that out. And if you wanna see what the van looked like when I first got it, go and check that video out. I'll link both of them right here. Hopefully you guys learned something or got like a cool idea. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you wanna see where I go next, away from this snowstorm, make sure you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.